All right, hi friends of golfers. We're gonna look here at a little uh, you know, before and after. Um, working through a drill here, actually. Um, I just wanna show you the difference on the way down here, what's happening. So, obviously you can see on the left what's happening here with her body. Look at the different position it's in right now versus this one. Okay, at this position, look where her hips are already. You know, shoulders are getting open. Um, I can show you this in SBI AI to sports box to show you the degrees of how much this is. Um, but we were, so what typically happens there is she'll get, I think this one's a little better than some of the others, but she'll get to the, um, by the time she gets the ball impact, this club is on her back hand. And, you know, one thing I want you to notice the difference right now between the two, besides where the body is still at, is look at the width she has here still, where she's a little tighter here and closer, right? So let's kind of watch this one, because this one's going to be a little faster on the right. And that's, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it, it, it it's not at all. I mean, what you're going to see is just better. She typically is sitting right in here, okay? So this is after we've worked on it, too. So, I mean, I, I don't want to say this is bad. She's doing really bad, okay? Um, it, it's just been something we're always working on. Her kind of casting from the top, and her lower body races out ahead. She slides out ahead of it. Hips are really moving away, and then she's hitting it with her hands back here. Um, you know, we've gotten her to have shaft lean, like this is on a shot here with, um, let's even see what that is right here. I mean, that is, I get right about seven, you know, that'd be about six degrees shaft lean. So she was, uh, when I started working with her, negative, like three B, so three inches behind it two inches behind it, almost always typically behind the ball um, on track man at a low point, okay? So now if we're gonna walk over to here and look at this on the left where we get towards the impact. I mean, I, I, I like that right too. She's gotten so much more stable than she used to, but just watch this here, because you saw the huge change in her body. Now look how she's still gonna get pretty darn wide open, just more proper. Look at where she's at now. <laughs> which one would you want right so now we're talking about you know she's up to 12 13 now which is just wild and she has enough power to handle that um, you know like if she couldn't get any height but look at the stability of that thing coming through that is just rock solid there right um, no if she couldn't get height or something like that, then I'm definitely not going to give her this much shaft lean, right? And that's something that all you need to look out for too. So, um, so you gotta figure out a couple of different things of why there is no shaft lean. It, you know, sometimes we worry so much about, okay, you gotta hold your hands here, you gotta do this. Your wrist positions have to be this. Now here's the deal though. Like, I use this as an example at times. I'll just say like, King Kong cannot hold on to this club if your body stops, your hips stop moving when you come down to your impact, the club is gonna have so much momentum, it's gonna go right past your hands and flip past it, correct? You keep turning, then that doesn't happen, right? So, um, with her being so far out in front and with her lower body, you know, we've worked on feeling like, okay, so you're getting the top of the swing and that we're going to keep your um, back hips kind of towards the target while you kind of do this little move of gaining some bend uh, in your chest, okay? So the chest kind of feeling like you're getting your, um, I would say your, basically your right right shoulder basically over maybe your left uh over your foot over your front foot would just be kind of like the feeling you're going for while your kind of butts going backwards would be kind of the like feeling we're having so 
doing that allows you to become more rotational down through here and not having to stand up. So what she's doing, um, look, and he, I mean, here's the other difference too, if I want to point out. That she's gotten really good at is her back foot. As she used to go right up on her toe right away. And, you know, this looks pretty professional right here, the way she's doing this. So, absolutely incredible. Um, and you can see here how she's rolling in now more. That structure is great. So, anyways, I'm just so proud of her. She's done a great job. Um, worked hard at it. And, you know, I don't think this is her, you know, she doesn't have dreams of playing the LPGA Tour. But, she, um, you know, she can play this game for a very long time at a very high level. You know, like, if she wanted to and wants to put in the time, she could be a 70s golfer her whole life. She has those kind of mechanics now um, to get there. And, you know, when I met her um, in July, there was a struggle going on with kind of some stuff that she was doing that was, I don't, I don't want to say, um, well not good for her swing almost this you know being told to rotate her hips like this one out of the way and then you know kind of like that cast was okay to throw it like that to get the club face close so she's had to learn you know the difference of of what to do with rotating the club or how do we manipulate the club with our wrists so the shaft turning the club face versus what most other people in this world do is just throw the club face at the ball and that's how they close it first rotating the shaft which is the most powerful and gives you the shaft lean you need and everything so that that that's not something when you've been playing golf pretty much her whole life like she has that you just learn overnight okay it, it's a very um it needs to be dug out but piece of advice i think it's easier to dig out when you um you go through the process of starting to work on like her, depending on where they're at, she was really, really cupped um, in her uh, lead hand. Very, very cupped at the top, okay? So we just started working on getting her flat at the top. Now, like, once that's happened, we just worked, worked from there on what else she had to do as far as with the club face. But understanding how we manipulate the club face by our wrist by rotating the shaft we don't do it by throwing it and when i say throwing it, i mean by the top casting it okay so we cast it to close the club face so that's one of the couple ways to do it but it's very inefficient you you add loft you're gonna you're trying to hit the ball right behind it perfectly so you're gonna have behind you're gonna have some fat shots thin shots top shots this is a powerful swing of a stable club face that should hit the ball pretty good almost every time. So, and then the other, other thing, the principle of feeling like when she got to the top, instead of this massive turn with her hips and everything, was, okay, I'm going to beat my belt buckle to the back to the ball with my hands. Okay, so feeling like those are kind of going to go faster than her body. And it's a feel. Like, does it happen? No, it won't ever. So... But it's a feel we're going for. So, anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. Eric Silver, EGS Golf, egsgolf.com. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Post them in the comments. And uh, for those of you who aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.